Hello, my fellow vampires! This is Malucha, and welcome back to V Rising here in the Gloom Rot update. In the previous episode, we did a lot of stuff. We kind of went on a V boss killing spree, built up every research station and crafting station that we had. We went through every crafting station, looking at some new of the some new recipes. And I've been doing a little bit on my own, a little bit more research that I got done. I got uh, some upgrades to my gear, of course. So I have three parts of the upgraded Merciless uh, Night Stalker glove, the upgraded one. I did craft an upgraded ring, the ring of the Spellweaver, uh, Sun Resistance and Ability Cooldown. I still find one of the most useful rings in there, meaning I can use my abilities more, more dashes, more spells I can throw. We uh, built uh, also the Traveler's Wrap, so max health and again Sun Resistance. So now we have 25 Sun Resistance, really, really nice. We got the Merciless Copper Axe and Merciless uh, Hatchet and then yeah, still a regular Copper Axe. We crafted the Fishing Pole, we did some investigations on how the bags work. Really nice system in itself. And we of course made the upgrade for our journal to go towards building a castle. And that is exactly what we're gonna start off today with guys. So I've been, uh, well, like I said, farming up a bunch. So I got a bunch of wood, got a bunch of uh, stone bricks here as well. And let's see what we actually gonna need to do, right? So yeah, 100 that I can place. Gas walls, they look a little bit different from what I can see. The, all the pictures look different. I'm not really sure if the walls are gonna look different. Now we also gonna need to place foundations, right? And for foundations, we need brick and blood essence. So let's open our BBH chest. Grab some blood essence. A thousand should be enough, but just in case, let's pull out these as well. And yeah, let's start. Now, we can do this really, really fast. So if we basically open the door here, we, we see that I got like one platform here. So if I would do a square pattern. Yeah, let's do square pattern and then we do walls. Let's do castle entrance. And let's do, like, for instance, window, window, castle entrance. And there we go. Like, we do one small room, and this counts actually as a room. Of course, we do want to set up proper gates for this one. There we go. We basically got our first build done. I'm really sad that they're talking about, like, palisades. Yo, of course, we are going to stand in sun. They're talking about, like, the little palisades once you actually go elevate. They're talking about the little palisades that automatically build. I wish we could build these palisades ourselves, but there is no half wall as far as we can see. And that is still, uh, still a little bit sad. What we can do, of course, is go garden and then fences and place in a fence. But it would be really nice if we could place half walls here. Or the actual, well, like, we'll see in a second, right? So let's claim this one already. Recognize my power. Recognize my power and then way gate with the way gate. I can quickly travel to places I've discovered in the past So we're not gonna do that yet guys. We first off. I'm gonna change this entire room into a castle Because that's basically what we want to do right we want to build a castle not stay in the open doors like we are here And then we're gonna try to well I'm gonna see where or how we're gonna start investigating with the leveling system the multiple floors of a castle guys so yeah, I'm gonna cut out here, do a little bit of work uh, changing everything up, and I'll bring you guys back once we go to the next floor. Alright, so yeah, it's completely built up. It isn't castle right now, because I basically removed these two. I kind of want to work with the outside that I have here uh, to see how I can go up. So these are the four staircases they actually give me. So it's basically a staircase that lines up with one tile. We've got a, a big staircase that lines up with two tiles. Now, I do wonder... Can I place this like halfway? Yeah, you cannot. Block, oh, block by units. Oh, you can. So I can place it like this and it actually works as a segregation, right? Now, oh, look at this, guys. Look at, oh, this is, this is incredible. So can I now do something like, yeah, I can't, right? Because what I need to do foundations if I do walls, I can make it like this. All right? To actually go into this my... Not work. There's a tree there. So these are the little, like, the palisades that you see here. I wish we could build these on our own. 
because that would mean that I could actually place them like in between the uh, well this is on the other side of the castle kind of talking about like this is incredible and it's like overhanging so we should actually place a pillar here to like or support but I could actually place it between these like two pillars so let's quickly go walls and then pillars and then yeah, we're gonna need to go down shift to jump I'm pressing shift to jump why can't I not jump it there we go so you can't jump while on the build, build menu now can we oh okay so this is wait foundations so if we do requires floor connection I cannot build here requires floor connection so oh that's not a floor connection blocked by environment yeah we needed to get rid of this tree anyway let's cut, chop it down so we cannot connect pillars to the staircases that's also already really interesting like i was expecting to be able to do like okay we need a pillar here as a support system ah but it's outside of a blocked area yeah but even with this requires a floor so you're gonna need to build floors for those castle foundation if we build outside floors does this work that is the question and it does seem like i need to remove that stone as well let's uh knock this one down So I was thinking like, okay, the staircase is floating on top here. So this is already registering as a buildable space. But apparently it's not. So we are going to need to do stuff like this. Well, I basically don't need these two blocks. I can get rid of them, right? That way I save up on blocks. Yeah, there we go. And we do need to connect to this one. To actually do walls, pillars, and yeah, see now it actually works. So you do need to have like this makes more sense like right that the balcony is actually connected oh yeah that already looks really really good all right let's let's head back in <laughs> oh this is incredible guys this is actually incredible and it's really cool that you can like go halfway through to actually connect this one and make sure that that is actually the one that lowers your floor so if we would do uh, let's see foundations and then we want to go uh, this one see all of these tiles do work towards your amount you can place i think i'm not really sure so now we should do walls and then we need to place another one here like this and then do place walls like this right yeah look at that and then hmm how do i how do i create a second floor do i place more foundations now oh yeah yeah look at that so i basically now place foundations how i want it to create the second floor so it's something like this then. And then if I want to close it off and actually make it into a room, I need to change these up into these and these. Okay, so I can make these into windows. Oh, that's the wrong one. I don't want to not do that. Do this. Okay, let's uh, order this up. And let's, uh, yeah, let's connect the rest of the room right now. Do I want to go out? I might actually want to go out. I, I kind of also want to see how high I can go. I, I really wonder if these are actually the, um, the tiles. So 65 out of 100 that I can place, right? Let's check it out. 66. So yeah, this is why they increase the amount of uh, tiles you could place. Because basically, if you're going upwards, the tiles still count. So me having like 600 tiles is definitely, definitely a good thing. Else, I was not... Like, I'm already at 73. 
Holy crap. I'm already at 73. That's that's a lot. Alright, let's go walls. Let's uh build this place up. Yep. There we go, and there we go. Another floor created. It's a sm it's a small room, guys, but it's just this is just testing right now. Then if we go outside, we basically have a visual like this, right? All right, so let's go back the stairs, and if we would do something like this, is it possible? So we can again, like just float it. It kind of looks really ugly if we just float it. But it is possible. Hmm. Let's place one. Okay. And basically we go foundations then again. And this way we can actually do it like this. How much do I get left? 15? Let's do like this. And then it should go out too on this side as well. Okay. Stairs. And then it's the opposite one, I think. Did it like this, right? Did we, did we do it differently? How the, hell, how the hell did we connect them on the other side, guys? And then, yeah, you do have like the roof going down here. Like this, you can, you, holy crap, this is, this is, this is really incredible. So if we want to line it up, we basically do, why is it not, why is it not, is it the terrain? Castle tile limited, limit reached. Wait, what? But I can, I, I'm at 95 out of 100. So why does it say castle tile limit reached? Kind of doesn't... Oh, because the staircase works for three blocks, I think. Is it? Is it counting for three blocks? Block by environment. And this is going to be a block by environment as well. Hmm, okay. Interesting. So, for now, three floors then. I kind of want to see... Okay, I'm gonna... This, like I said, this is all just testing, guys. I'm gonna basically uh, break everything down. And then we're gonna go try to go as high as possible with... Like, this is already incredible. Being able to go this high. We're gonna see how high we can actually go. All right, so test number two, how high can we actually go? So castle, walls, stairs, foundations. So we need a foundation to start off with. Uh, I do want to keep my entrance to my castle. So let's build a foundation over here and then go to stairs. And I should be able to connect this to this. Now, from what I can tell, we cannot outside of territory. Yeah, so let's do walls foundation place another foundation here that should be possible there we go and then we go back the stairs and we do this so that is possible now it is not possible i think yeah requires floor connection requires path to ground castle height limit reached so we've got the first floor here that's the first floor and then a second floor so we got the ground floor, then the first floor, and the second floor. So the castle limit is three high. And this is kind of sad. I wish we could go at least four or five high. Three high is still pretty high, guys. But yeah, one, you cannot connect staircases to one another. So you cannot actually, like, it requires connection to the floor. Okay, I want to test something out. So yeah, connecting one grand staircase does not um, require a floor to connect. You always need to connect one floor to it, at least. And it also says it requires, uh, what was it, floor connection. So what it means by that is that if you look at the staircase right now, it actually is connected to the floor, like it is one structure. 
Now, to fix this, it's pretty obvious, right? Like, we place just a couple of walls here. Uh, let's say I place one over here as well. So now we basically have, like, a room. We have a connection to the floor with these walls. So this should actually allow me to build the staircase, right? Like, if you think, like, oh, I'm just gonna make one giant staircase instantly to the second floor and not to the first floor... Like, make one staircase somewhere to the first floor, and then make a second staircase somewhere to the second floor. It is, it is not possible. So, we need to go foundations then, and actually make one foundation, and from here we can go into stairs, and actually do this. So that kind of works, but you need to have the walls below it, to actually make it able to go there. And then, of course, we go foundations again. Now, foundations can be, like, elevated into the air doesn't really matter there we go and this way we could actually just make a giant outside terrace on top of our castle something like this right like there is a lot of build potential with this guys like a lot of build potential but i kind of find it sad like if they would give us four floors that would mean like for instance let me let me kind of show you what i'm talking about right now you can see this like height level of this uh, of the roof that we're creating, right? Now this height level, we also see this inside, right? Like the height level here is inside. But if we would place a floor on it, I think we would actually see the floor. So let's quickly check out a floor. So if we would do something like this. This will not work. What do you mean this will not work? There we go. So you can create something like this. Then I would love it if I could just go like make one floor and then go too high, make another floor, go too higher, make another floor. So basically six elevations of walls. And that would not, well, if you look inside, you don't actually see it. So it's not really an issue. Like you can see here that the floor is... Like, this is where the floor is going, but it's kind of transparent, so you don't really get the visual of it. But once you look at the wall, you can see this visualization of it, right? Like, this is, like, nice and proper aligning of the wall. But then over here, it's, like, blocked off where the next floor starts. You kind of find that a little ugly. So, to prevent this from happening, what we would need to do is actually not build the staircase directly against the wall, but build the staircase outside. And then make one walk walkway towards here. And then basically it would only have this this open area, right? But if we have... I'm not really sure if I can show you guys. So if we have this right now here. So let's remove a couple of these tiles. Oh, blocked by me. Let's remove this one and let's remove this one as well. There we go. So if we do wall and we place a wall over here, over here, and should be able to place one, should be able to place one over here. Why is it not letting me place one here? Requires floor, but there is a floor below it, right? Because it's standing on top of another wall. So that kind of doesn't make sense. Maybe we need to place the walls before we place, because I can build this one. And it's standing on a floor. And this one, this this wall over here is standing on a floor as well. So if I, let's quickly check if we can fix this. So let's remove everything again. And then these two as well. I think these two are the last ones that I actually need. Can I build a wall now on top of here? Like it's still not allowing me to build a wall on top of here. And that would make sense, right? If I... Just want to extend this wall over here but it's not letting me because it says it requires floor now if i would place foundations of floor on the outside would that actually fix it so let's go over here and then place a floor like here and here like now there is a floor below it right so we should be able to place a wall on top of here because we can place a wall on top of this y you see what i'm saying right 
so let's go check it out yeah like i said this is all like i'm i'm, I'm just like trying to see how it works guys like the entire episode is just gonna be me trying to figure stuff out so wall wall and now i should be able to again it's not snapping like it it doesn't let me it doesn't allow me to place a wall here so how am i supposed to place a wall there if i place more foundations maybe if i would go like this to here now it actually has a floor beneath it right so now i would actually be able to do this the problem is we're trying to create the illusion downstairs in my room well not illusion we're trying to get rid of this ugly piece of oh basically aesthetic we're trying to get rid of it and it seems that we can't like to have double walls also means that you will have this texture that is honestly it's not nice looking <laughs> i have to be honest what we can do is do like this and then remove this one but as you can see it still shows this so yeah let's uh do some more testing i'm gonna place the staircase one out see if i can fix it that way i wanna i wanna i wanna remove that ugliness guys like i love building in games but trying to figure out how it all works is sometimes well not i'm loving it i i shouldn't say it's a pain in the ass i'm i'm actually loving it guys so we're gonna remove all of these right remove them all and then we go foundations we place another foundation like this Right, I think I don't. I, I don't have. I don't have enough room on this side. I don't have enough room on this side. Can I do it on the other side? No, I only have. I only have one room there as well. Damn it! My 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 area is not big enough to actually even do testing. God. <laughs> oh my god! My room. My my. Yeah, it's not big enough to do testing. Um, let's see. So we're gonna do this, right? And then we're gonna place one floor. So flooring this way, this way, and then this way, right? And now we should, in our base, only have one of these ugly tiles, as you can see. But once you're in your base, you can basically like, it's it's still an ugly tile, guys. Like I really don't get it why. Why that ugliness is there. So if we change up the entire floor. It shouldn't change anything actually. But let's change it. Because I think it's just gonna. So if we change everything up. So how does it look now on the inside? It's gonna have. It's gonna. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. So we have the entire castle now from the inside. You can see this right. Like this is just. This is just ugly. This really is just ugly. And what I want to create is... And this is why I'm saying, like, if we could make two floors... Uh, a staircase two floors high. And then place another floor on top of it. This would not happen. Right? This would completely not happen. So how can we fix this? Is by not having any... And I do mean any... Let's quickly... So, give me a second, guys. So, I already see the problem I'm going to create. It's going to say you don't have a floor. So, basically, we now have a standalone staircase. And the entire structure inside is beautiful again. Like, it is nicely round off. We basically get... Wait, what? Why is it... Oh, there we go. It... Okay, so it's just not updating. So logging out and then uh, reloading all the textures when you actually log back in it actually fixes the problem so my walls are nicely like round again they got a nice curvature to it and this game is beautiful like it is really a beautiful game like the structures in there is really beautiful but like building again your uh, a staircase against your wall and building a second platform right on top of your first platform it really brings out an a, a Okay, so this one is really not is not even connected to the floor 
the requires floor is not even a thing it makes it really ugly guys and the way to fix it is actually set up something like this a staircase outside or inside that not goes towards the first floor but actually skips an entire floor so your first floor remains two walls high and then now i should be able to i hope build like walls on top of this it actually creates another room I it's complete build here. can't build there why not dude if i would do this see, now i get another room and inside of the room we again get these nice curvatures these nice te textures so this is the only way you are able to actually build a rooms without actually having this well ugly feature i hope they remove it from the game guys i honestly do uh, and it's gonna be rather interesting to see how i'm gonna build my well my main castle but this is actually real I, I i love this guys I, I, like really i do love this being able to like stand higher than the first floor than we ever had it's really nice but you should actually be able to build six high that way you can prevent that ugliness it might be fixed later on i don't know maybe it's not intended maybe it's something in over, over an oversight who knows uh, but yeah, from what I can see, this is the only way you are going to be able to not have the ugly lines in your base. Anyway, guys, uh, this is going to be it for my testing. I think I have a really good idea now on how it actually works. Uh, apparently, staircases can be built without support. <laughs> Although they did say that a little while ago. And yeah, if, if you don't mind the ugliness, you can build three floors. Like you can build actually three workshops and three floors. But you kind of have that ugly line. We should actually... Give me a second. We should do one more test. Do sh we should do one more test. Because maybe it's just a bug. And if we load up, it might it might be gone. So let's do foundations. And let's do it like this. Like that's what we just created, right? So if we go inside now, we should have that ugly texture again on that wall. If we look. Like nice and round and curvature and then pillars that are cut in half like even even the pillar here is cut in half the wall is cut in half so let's reload the game again and see if if we load this again if it actually fixes it yeah uh, you can see even after loading in guys um it, it still remains like this and honestly this is ugly this is just ugly i never want to see something like this in my base so i'm not gonna build three floors i'm just gonna stick with two floors on my main castle and it's gonna be interesting to see how i can actually get that done but overall i do have to say i love the build mechanics it's a weird concept <laughs> that we can have like floating floors and like it's a weird concept but there is a lot of potential here as well i do have to say anyway guys like i said i'm gonna wrap it up here if you want to see more of my quest progression, my let's play here in V Rising in the Gloomrod update or any other game I might play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.